Good day, this is the Hawk. Do you wake up at night thinking that maybe, just maybe, there's somebody inside your house? Do you wake up in the morning and when you send your children to school, you think you may never see them again? Do you wake up every day thinking, today's my last day? Do you wake up every day thinking because of the color of your skin, somebody's going to murder you? That's South Africa right now. The South African government has more apartheid laws than the last government had that caused sanctions on that government to remove apartheid. Apartheid stands for separate development. It was created by the British government and handed to the Dutch in 1948. Some very right-wing people decided that that's the best way to go. Mainly because they did not want their land taken away from them. Land that they had built up from the beginning. Had fought the British for. Fought the Zulus. Fought everybody. Was it right? No. You see, everybody has a right to be born in any country because land is not a color. But in South Africa today, the murder rate is 60 a day. Farmers are being murdered by the hundreds. And just this week, a young boy, barely a man, 21 years old, got beaten by these two idiots. Because people like Julius Malama, Jacob Zuma, Ace Mashula, and the president of South Africa, Cyril Lying Ramaphosa, encouraged the murder of white people, encouraged the discrimination of the white people in South Africa. A young farmer, Brendan Horner, he was beaten, stabbed, and hung up on a post. And they caught the people, these two idiots. And who's responsible? And the minority. And they do not care about the general population of the people. Because they're stealing all the money. And the general of the police, Sale, is an absolute liar. He has blackmail on most of the politicians that are in the country. And he has no interest in, in curbing the crime. But lying in his own pockets and wearing his fancy hat. This young boy, Brendan. Was beaten. Murdered and tied to a pole. They finally broke the camel's back. And the farmers and the whites in South Africa decided they've had enough. I have a petition for full-blown economic sanctions against the South African Communist Party government who vote 90% against the U.S. in the U.N. We have given them $10 billion in aid. They have, for the last 26 years, discriminated, abused, corrupted and destroyed a perfectly economic working country. F.W. de Klerk, the past president of the nationalist government, is an absolute liar and traitor and should 
have never got the Nobel Peace Prize should be arrested for crimes against humanity, along with Julius Malama, Jacob Zuma, Ace Mashula, and Cyril Ramaphosa, and every single member of the ANC hierarchy. The far murders in South Africa is genocide. Encouraged by the political leaders of their country. Now I can jump on the bandwagon like everybody else and tell you, look what's happening and this is exclusive news. No, it's not. This is everyday news. This is everyday news. Every minute a woman is raped. Every single day some politician is stealing money. And every single day somebody's murdered. Not just one. 60 an average a day. The farming communities of South Africa have had enough. The white people of South Africa have had enough of this discrimination. Joe Biden said in his little speech back in the 80s that the people have had enough. They've been excoriated. They've taken up arms. They have to do something. Well, guess what? That's what's coming. And may you forget these same people took on the British Army and held them at bay for years. They had to put half a million men to stop them. And the only way they stopped them was killing their women and children. And that is exactly what the ANC is doing to these people. And they're going to cross a line. And they have crossed the line. And I warned you all. This was coming. Before this becomes a bloodbath. I do not blame all the people of South Africa. I blame the leadership. Every person in that country needs food. They need a job. They need economic welfare. The irresponsible behavior of the ENC is to destroy the entire country and then try and build it up so that everybody is equal. It will not happen. That is the most idiotic idea I've ever heard. We in the United States need to stop sending aid to this communist country. We need to stop sending aid to a, to a corrupt, racist country. Now I send out a challenge to a number of people. Number one, L. Sharpton. Number two, Julius Malema. Number three, Cyril Ramaphosa. Number four, Jacob Zuma. Isma Shula. Neil De Beer. Come and debate me. Come and tell me your story. Let's see how brave you are today. So if you're brave enough to come on my channel and challenge me, let's see. So that the world can see who you really are. Because if you don't come. You're just a coward. Who incites other people to do your dirty work. That's murder. Innocent women and children and men. General Saleh. You come too. And you tell us how the farm murders are not real. Cyril Romaposo. You come tell us. Tell the world, tell me, come on my channel. I challenge you that there's no such thing as farmers. Ik heb het gevoel dat ik het niet heb gedaan. Ik heb het gevoel dat ik het niet heb gedaan. Ik heb het gevoel dat ik het niet heb gedaan. Ik heb het gevoel dat ik het niet heb gedaan. Ik he
Fahrer von Rückgewöhnungs- und Volk für die Stadt. Und das wird ein Beleidiger, um sich von ihr zu halten. Uns wird ein Beleidiger, dass in uns hier Kraft ist. Maar ons beleid ook, Heere, dat die die Heere is, wat ons aanreed. Ons roep vir oogend die naam van Jezus vir hierdie nie volk vir ons. Ek roep die naam van Jezus vir Zuid-Afrika, Heere. Als soveel mense, as ons praat vir die hoog volk, Heere, dan bedoel ek mense is wat die bedien. En ek gee nie om of hy met ons slaat is. Dank die Heere dat die saam met ons is vir oogend, alle mense, om die te soek. Hoor ons gebed vandag as ons vraag, Heere, red ons. Ek bid dit in die naam van Jesus. Amen. Baie, baie dankie, vrij Jesus. Dus baie dankie, Heere. Dankie, Dr. Jan. Let's talk about this Neil De Beer. Suddenly he jumps up, says he's going to be the president of South Africa. He's in bed with Masamani, the ex-president or leader of the DA. He was part of the House of Monarchies. I don't know what happened there. My problem with this is Neil De Beer cannot be trusted. He was a traitor then. He's a traitor now. And where's his speech regarding these farmers, the murder rate in South Africa, the crime, the corruption, and the many other things that he helped the ANC achieve in backstabbing his own people, how can you be trusted? Then I'd like to ask Lena Marx, where are you today? Did we hear a statement from the US government condemning the murder of this young man? The silence is deafening. To all the people in America, all the citizens of this country has been sent to these terrorists by our very government, our very ambassador in South Africa, our hard-earned money to a communist country who does not like the United States. He's the most racist country in the world and highest murder rate and rape rate in the entire world. We need to stop this, and we need to stop this now. Sign my petition. It's below in the link, in the description. My email address is there. If you cannot find the link, email me. I'll send it to you. But enough is enough of this racism. And the politicians that incite this type of thing need to go to jail and be held for human rights violations, crimes against humanity. And the president of South Africa is responsible for it all. This is the Hawk. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. I'm out of here. Be safe out there. And remember, when you wake up in the morning, are you going to still be alive? And when you send your children to school, are they coming home? Think of these people and what they endure every day. I'm out of here.